Hi, this is Amy M. Burns, and this video is about five end-of-the-year activities with Music First Elementary, or five activities you could do before a holiday. So it's that time of year when school is wrapping up faster than a holiday gift. Elementary music teachers are running on fumes trying to jazz up those final lessons. But fear not, Music First Elementary is here to save the day. Say goodbye to last minute planning and hello to five fun end of the year activities for your music classes. Let the musical countdown begin. Number five, interactive supplementary musical activities. At this stage of the school year, your class might have rocked their last concert, starred in their school play, or are gearing up for the end of the year fun. Tossing in a new tune might not be the brightest idea right now. Instead of hitting the musical note, why not dive into the interactive musical activities in Music First Elementary to keep the class buzzing during this wacky time when focus is as rare as a unicorn in a desert storm. All grade levels feature several songs with interactive music making activities embedded in them. These activities include some or all of the following. Play along activities, improvisation activities, and composition activities. Have your students grab pitched or non-pitched instruments from bells to boomwhackers to rhythm sticks to voices to body percussion to have them play along with the music, improvise new melodies or phrases, or compose new melodies or phrases using the built-in composition squares in kindergarten or the Music Explorer composition tools in grades 1 through 5. These interactive jam sessions will have your students skipping out of class with a smile and a tune on their lips. Number four, quick beats. Get the classroom grooving with this fun activity. First up, let your students craft a snazzy quick beat using the creative tool. Once they've got their beat, challenge them to whip up a haiku poem, perfect for those poetry buffs. Then watch the magic happen as they wrap out their haiku to their cool new beat. For the older crew, let them shine solo, but for the young ones, gather around the interactive whiteboard or screen for a group beat making session. Next up, have each kiddo introduce themselves with a tasty twist. Think, my name is Sarah and I'm all about sweets. Let the rhythmic fun begin. Number three, play along videos in the supplementary tab. The supplementary tab has a plethora of activities that require very little prep. One example is the resources for classroom instruments. Within this tab, you will find numerous play along videos for recorder, bells, boom whackers, and ukuleles. All of these resources gradually add notes one at a time to make it intuitive for you to pick a few videos that will help your students at any age level feel successful. Start the fun by having them sneak a peek at the performance before jumping in. Then let the show go on, mixing notes and trying out new chords a few times. Number two, decoding scavenger hunt. Play one of their favorite music games that they played earlier in the year. An example might be Pass the Pumpkin, Doggy Doggy, Opusanasa, or one of the Kodai supplementary song tabs. When finished with the game, have them decode the rhythms of the song using rhythm grits. This could be performed with one-to-one -one devices, as a group, or in a center. Once decoded, have them use the Hear tab to listen to see if their decoding was accurate. After finishing up, let your students pick a musical genre and show off their performance skills with that vibe. And number one, score a movie with you, Studio. If you have followed my channel or seen my other videos, you know that currently UStudio, which is included in Music First Elementary, is the only web-based digital audio workstation that can score a movie. For your older students, assign one of the short 30-second movies found in Music First Elementary and have them score a drum beat, guitar, and bass to it, and have them assign one to two sound effects to go with the movie. For your younger students, have them draw a picture during one class on the topic you assign. Then create a video from those pictures using Canva, Clipchamp, the photo tool on your Mac, or other creative tools. Upload that video to UStudio and have them help you create music to those pictures. With my youngest of students, I have one student. I ask that one student to choose between a drum or a guitar. I then ask, to choose between two loops from one of those instruments. This guided practice helps move the activity along with everyone choosing various loops to perform with the video. 
The school year finale can seem like a slow motion race to the end. Boy, it can. But fear not, with Music First Elementary, we can glide across the finish line effortlessly.